Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, let us discuss about the concept packages. Firstly, before understanding what is a package, one should be aware of what is the term namespace. When variables, functions, subroutines or objects are accessible in a single script or more than one script, then it is called a namespace. Advantages of using packages is that functions, subroutines or variables, all these can be accessed in different scripts. To create a package, the file extension has to be .pm. At the beginning of the script, when you are creating a package, use the keyword package followed by the package name. It, it should end with a semicolon. Next is the package name and the file name has to be the same. At the end of the package, after you implement all the subroutines, all the objects, everything, then you have to mention one semicolon. Why? Because to evaluate the code to true, you have to mention one semicolon. Next is after implementing your package, to access the subroutines or variables from your package inside your script, there are two ways to do that is by using a use and require. You have to give use followed by the package name or require followed by the package name. Now to access the subroutines from your package or variables, just give the subroutine. If you are using require, you have to give the fully qualified name that is the package name to columns function or the variable name used at runtime but require is happening at compile time this is the difference between use and require to export your subroutines or variables which you have implemented in your package for that you have to use a Perl module called exporter use exporter and in order to export your variables, all variables have to be declared with scope R. That means all variables are exported globally. Next is you have to give an is a relationship for the exporter Perl module. That means what are the package you are implementing that will be the child class of exporter Perl module as the name suggests is a relationship that means we are doing a single inheritance here. Next is to export all the variables or the subroutine names you have to you make use of at the rate export array. In this array you have to give the subroutine names and the variable names which you want to export to the other scripts. Next is there is also an array called export ok. There is a difference between these two. And I am going to explain with a practical example. Now, when you have a package and script in the same directory, there is no need to worry. But if your package is in a different directory and you are accessing the variables or subroutines from this package from a different directory, then there are three things which you need to check. Firstly, at the rate inc array, this is a special array where you will have all the search paths. So you have to ensure that your package is in one such path or you have to give that path in this array. You have to just push it. Next is Perl 5 lib. This is an environmental variable having the search paths. You have to initialize this. Third is at the starting of your script, just give use lib path of the package. Now let us see some detailed practical examples. Let us implement a package module. To create a package, use the keyword package at the beginning of the script followed by the package name. Ensure that the package name and the file name is same. Use exporter Perl module to export all the subroutines and variables inside your Perl script. For this, 
Use a special array called is a array and make your package test as the subclass of exporter Perl module. This will inherit properties of exporter. Assign all subroutine names and variable names to this array called export. I am exporting a subroutine and a hash. Assigning some values to this hash. Now implement the subroutine. Take two parameters to this subroutine and add those two parameters as key value pairs to this hash. To add the key value pair, give the hash name followed by the key name in curly braces and assign the value. You can also ensure whether this subroutine is called or not by just printing a message. At the end of the package, mention one semicolon to evaluate the complete code to true. Now let us implement the script. To make use of your package, there are two ways that is by using use and require. Let us see the use. Use give the package name. Take two parameters while running the script. By using the special array argv Now call the subroutine add skills and pass these two parameters. As in the package module, we are exporting a hash. After adding the key value pair, we can ensure whether this key value pair got added or not by accessing the value of that key inside the script. Hash name is skills experiences. So let us now print it. Let us now test it. Pass two parameters while running the script. I am passing skill as python and experience as 2. A message called key value pair added which comes from the subroutine of the package. Inside the script, we try to access the value from the key which we have added. And the value is 2 as we have added it here. Now let us see by using require. When you use require, you have to ensure that you have give the fully qualified name. This is how we have made use of use require. Next is, let us see the differences between export and export OK arrays. For this, I am going to create one more subroutine here in the package and export in export OK array. Now let us implement this subroutine. For each on this hash, and print all the key value pairs. 
Now try to call the subroutine which you have assigned in export ok array. Let us see if I can access this subroutine. It said that undefined subroutine. So when you are using export ok array and assigning the variables or subroutines then you have to ensure that you are writing the fully qualified name. This is how you have accessed. So the difference between export and export ok array is that if you want to access the subroutines or the variables you have to ensure that you are giving the fully qualified name while accessing the variables or subroutines which you have assigned in export ok array. But in export array whatever you have assigned you no need to mention the fully qualified name while you are using use. If your package is in some other directory and you are trying to access that package from a different directory inside a Perl script then to access the subroutines or variables from that package there are three ways to do. Use begin block and push the directory path into the array called inc. This is the directory path where my package is there. And just add an end block. If you test it, this is how you can access if your directory and the script are in different paths. This is the first way. The second way to access your package when package and script are in different directories is by using the environmental variable perl5lib. For this, get the path where your package is there. and export this environmental variable. Just try to echo it. This is what it has saved. Now try to run the script. The third way is by using useLib and give the path where your package is there. These are the three ways. If your package and script are in different directories, you have to make sure that you are modifying the ink array 